This is question number 40 of the 2013 KCPE maths paper. The question says, a trader deposited 20,000 shillings in a bank. The money was in the following denominations. 1,000 shillings, 5 notes. 500 shillings, 15 notes. 200 shillings, 24 notes. The remaining amount was in 100 shillings and 50 shillings notes. The 100 shillings and 50 shillings notes were, in, were equal in number. How much money did the trader deposit in 50 shilling notes? So I'm going to write this out um, in a table form so that we can uh, see exactly what's going on in this question. So um, I'm going to have a table with three columns. One column is going to be the denomination of the note, which I'm going to write here as denom. The next column is going to be um, the number of notes which I'm just going to write as number of notes. And the third column is going to be the total value of uh, the notes in that certain denomination. So, so total value. And to work out the value of this third column here, we're going to multiply the previous two columns, the values in the previous two columns. So for the first row in the table, I'm going to have 1,000 and so that's for 1,000 shillings and we know that we have five 1,000 shilling notes and the total value of 1,000 1, shilling notes that we have um, that the trader deposited in the bank is five times 1,000 which is 5,000. So to work out the total value we're simply uh, multiplying um, the values of the previous two um, uh, columns, so the two columns to the uh, left. Okay, so for the second row, we have 500 uh, shillings, so that's 500 shilling notes, and we have 15 of the 500 shilling notes are deposited by the trader, so 15, and to work out the total value, that's 500 times by 15. Um, you can do this in your head, or you can do... Um, uh, a long multiplication. I'm just going to do a, a written down multiplication here so you can see how I get the answer for 500 times by 15. So 500 multiplied by 15. So 5 times by 0 is 0. 5 times by 0 is again 0. 5 times by 5 is 25. 1 times by 0 is 0. 1 times by 0 is again 0. move this down a bit. 5 times by 1 is 5. So let's add this up. So we get 7,500 for the value of uh, 500 shilling notes that the trader deposits. And then what do we have next? For our third row, we have a value of 200 shilling notes that is deposited by the trader. So we have 24 200 shilling notes. And let's work out the total value um, deposited by the trader in 200 shilling notes. So that's going to be uh, 24. So 200 multiplied by 24. So 4 times by 200 is 800. 2 times by 200 is 400. So the total value we have here is 4,800 for the value of 200 shilling notes deposited by the trader. 4,800. So what we're told next is that um, the remaining amount was deposited in 100 and 500 shilling notes. So 100 shillings and 500 shilling, I'm sorry, 50 shilling notes. And we know that um, an equal amount of 50 and 100 shilling notes was used. So that means that um, then let's call the number of note number of um a hundred shilling notes deposited x and also the number of fifty shilling notes deposited x. So from that we know that the total value is whatever the number of notes of of hundred shilling notes times by a hundred. That's a total value. So hundred x we have here, and the same for the fifty shilling notes. So fifty x. So from that we need to work out. How much money did the trader deposit in 50 shilling notes? So 
This is a simple case of first solving for x, and then from that we need to work out what the value of 50x is. So 50x here, what the value is after solving for x. And we're going to solve for x by generating an equation, which will be the sum of all of these total values here, and we need to equate that to 20,000, the total deposit. So let's do that. So we're going to have 20,000 shillings is equal to 5,000 plus 7,500 plus 4,800 plus 100x plus 50x. And 100x plus 50x is 150x, so we can just write 150x here. So my first step would be to sum these values here and then subtract them from both sides. So 5,000 plus 7,500 plus 4,800. Let's add these together. So in the first column we get a 0, in the second column we get a 0, in the third column we get a 13. 3 carry a 1, and then in the last column we get 1 plus 5, which is 6, plus 7, which is 13, plus 4, which is 17. So we get 17,300 for the value of this, plus this, plus this. So 20,000 is equal to 17,300 plus 150x. Let's subtract um, 17,300 from both sides because we're trying to isolate x on one side. So by doing that, we get um, on this side, 2,700 is equal to 150x. So we want to isolate x on one side. So what we're gonna do now is Divide both sides by 150. So we're going to have to divide um, 200, sorry, 2,700 by 150. So let's do this division on the side here. 2,700 divided by 150 is 18, which means that x is equal to 18. So we have a value. So that means that the number of 150 notes that were used is uh, 18. So that means that the total value in 50 shilling notes deposited is 50 times by 18. So we just have to work that out quickly. 50 times by 18. 0 times by 8 is 0. 8 times by 5 is 40. 1 times by 0 is 0. 1 times by 5 is 5. So that gives us 900 shillings. So 900 shillings is the value of 50 shillings notes that were de was deposited. So the answer is D, 900.